channel. We're, Welcome back. Yeah, we're back in this room again, ready to do some more work. We're in the master bedroom, and it's time to get the floor done. So, yeah. we're just kind of pushing on, pushing forward, continuation with what we did last week, painting the walls in here. We want to get our bed. I mean, it is just absolute chaos in the house. So. Oh yeah, it's embarrassing. I'm going to get the belt sander out. We're going to belt sand all the seams of the OSB. For you guys that don't know or haven't gone back on our videos, when we laid this floor, we did our foundation work and we laid our subfloor. And then it rained and rained and rained. <laughs> and rained. It was insane. So we ended up actually letting the subfloor sit for a year. Covered it in a temporary roof. And actually the boards that we use for the temporary roof are now the boards that are our ceiling in our deck. Yeah. Anybody who knows OSB knows you get OSB wet for long enough and it's Canada gonna swell. Does this. It goes meek. Yeah, so anyways, the seams have swelled just a little bit. So when you lay, if you're gonna lay like we are luxury plate vinyl, you need that to have a flat surface or at least as flat as possible yeah. or you're gonna see it in the floor. So we're gonna belt sand off all the seams. We're gonna get this floor laid. Yeah. And I think that's the major project. Yeah, that's we, we want to do that. And hopefully we can get some of these doors installed before the oh, end of the video. Oh yeah, we want to get video. the, <laughs> hopefully, yeah. So hopefully in this video, we are going to have the master bedroom floor laid. Yeah. And we're going to have the barn doors put up for the uh, bathroom and the walk-in closet. I want to get this bedroom done because I'm tired of having a giant bed in the middle of my living room. Literally in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> King size bed in the living room. I think the dogs will like it too because yeah. they are, oh, they get frustrated trying to find carpet space to lay on, <laughs> yeah. on the rug. So anyways, guys, let's get started. Let's get started. It's super dusty in here, but uh, I'm done sanding all the seams and we're gonna get in here, we're gonna vacuum it up, we're gonna let the dust settle, we're gonna clean the room, and then we'll start laying our floor. All right guys, so we got the floor sanded, we got it clean, it's time to start laying this stuff. So this is SmartCore Pro, and this flooring we're using is uh, straight from the box stores. Nothing fancy, but we try to buy the 20 mil wear layer. If it doesn't say 20 mil uh, on the lid, on the surface of the wear surface, we don't buy it. They make better stuff, but for the cost, it's pretty good. 
So it's been sitting in the house acclimating for like two or three days. We're using this faux wood pattern. It's pretty nice. It's uh, It should look pretty in the bedroom. And then we'll just cover it with throw ropes. It's a click lock floor. This stuff snaps together. It's actually pretty good. It's a waterproof floor. It's just a vinyl. It's got a backing on it already. All right, let's get to laying it. All right, so each of, each of these planks is seven inches wide. That's the actual coverage that it's gonna show, seven inches. I measured from side to side and lengthwise, and then I got all my measurements to figure out how the floor is gonna lay. And from side to side, it's gonna take 22 and a half rows. So instead of having a half plank on one side and a full plank on the other, I'm gonna take a quarter off of each side, so I'll have three quarter of a plank over there, three quarter of a plank over here, and kind of center the floor, even it up. And I did the same from end to end, and it's gonna take 3.8, uh, so I'm gonna take a little bit off of this plank, and a little bit off of that plank, and center the floor. That's how I decided to lay it, that's how I like to lay floor. This click lock floor just seems like, that way you're not running on one edge, any one edge with some tiny scab piece. Yeah, so it works out good. So I need to cut this, and I'm gonna cut three of them, basically an inch and three quarters off to start my line, my first line. Crazy.
That is officially offensive on the ears. Yes, it is. Official. There you go. Right on. Now that'll slide right under there like that. Perfect. Beautiful. So if you guys want to know what floor we used, we, we'll put it in the description of the video, but uh, I like the way this stuff locks together. A lot of click lock floor doesn't lock together tight and it tends to slip. This stuff seems to be really tight together. We'll see over time, but one of the good benefits of using this luxury plank vinyl, and I, like I told before, we use a 20 mil wear layer, 20 mil or thicker on top. And it'll tell you on the box, but it's phenomenal for pets. We had a brand new house we built and we put this in that house because a bunch of flooring professionals recommended it to us for pets and they cannot scratch it. It is phenomenal and it looks nice. It's easy to lay. It's a great DIY product. So here's our master bedroom. We're gonna get the bed put in here. I've got two barn doors to hang now. So I gotta hang the barn door for the uh, bathroom and the closet behind me here, but I'm super excited about how this floor turned out. We still have to do some trim on the baseboard trim around the windows and stuff like that, but I think we're gonna get the bed put back in here and we'll show you guys the finished product when we get the bed all set up. All right, check it out. We got our bed back in here. The floor looks so good. Oh my goodness. Look at that. It is so pretty. All right, guys, well, it's 20 below outside right now, but uh, that's not gonna stop me from getting out. I've been working hard on the house and I wanna get out and set a couple of traps. I've got a place I wanna go to set a couple snares for rabbit. I've got this amazing rabbit stew recipe I've been dying to make, so let's go set some snares. All right, guys, I found a spot that I want to try and put a snare. We've got quite a bit of rabbit tracks here. Here's some pretty fresh ones right here. And they go across. All right. Let's put a snare and see what happens. I think right 
there is a good place. Make it so they want to come through there. Let's see if it works. What do you think? All right, here's another one. Rabbit's been through here a few times. Let's just go back in the woods there a little bit and we'll set another snare. I'm pretty excited for this snare and I, I haven't done it yet and I've always wanted to get out. I've been meaning to get out. I got a bunch of traps I need to set, but you're so busy building the house. It's exciting to be able to get out here and set a few of these snares. I'm gonna go right back there, set it right there. Right, guys I just put my final set my final snare rabbit's been coming right through there I think it's gonna be a good one all right guys that's it I got the snares set we won't see what I gotta let these snares set for a couple days I'll be checking on them guys you'll see the results in the next video stay tuned Right, guys well <clears throat> i'm driving down the trail and i jumped a grouse and i was able to get grouse so we get grouse for dinner so excited i that's the third grouse i've seen but i haven't been able to get a shot at any of them but this one jumped up perched in the tree let's go get him <clears throat> so awesome to be able to get grouse out here it's one of those good meats to be able to get some fresh meat for the winter here we go. All right. Check that out. Nice. So cool. I'm super excited. Maybe I'll keep driving, see if I can find another one. Super excited. Door. We're getting doors in here. After Ryan installs these two doors, we only have one more door to install in the entire house. The that's, whole house. That's pretty exciting. All right. All right, so we're gonna do this kit again. We're gonna do the kit again with no instructions, apparently. What whoa. All right, guys, you can see on the bed, I've collected all the tools that I need. And uh, we printed off the directions off the internet because we lost the original directions, but installation instructions are there and we're ready to put up a barn door on our master bathroom. All right, let's get started.
Okay guys, so uh, basically I had to figure out where the studs were. They're not designed to hit studs, so I gotta put backer plates behind the wall. So I was able to anchor in two of the anchors to hold that up first, and then I'm gonna go back in behind the wall, put some backer plates in back behind there, and then I'll be able to anchor in the last three screws that hold that bar in. All right, so this one I'm just gonna go like this, right there. Perfect. Okay, let's go out and see if we can anchor these in. Okay. I felt like it anchored in real good and solid. Nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Based on the last time I did this, this was the easy part. <laughs> <laughs> This thing is three and three eighths, so it's gonna be an inch and a half plus three sixteenths would be one, two, three. Right there, there. for the soft close mechanism.
right, there's numeral uno. We'll do the other side. All right, guys, so we got the one door installed for our bathroom, and I'm gonna move into the closet here, get that taken care of. So that's the master closet. We got one more to hang. I'm gonna hang it, and I'll show you when I'm done. You can see behind us, Ryan did it. Hey, we did it. Wow, we did it. <laughs> Vaughn's always a great help on these projects, but uh, yeah, the barn doors are up. The floor's in here, the barn doors are up. It looks amazing here, check this out. Yeah, check it out. So you can open them up. Ooh la la. And then of course it has the soft close feature. Gotta love that. And then this one here. Open up. They're amazing. Yes, and they look so good. I'm so happy with it. It's, I mean, the floor in here is finished. The doors are finished. I'm just, I just so All nice. We slept in our bed last night. We got our king bed back. Oh. Ugh. It's out of the living room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All we need to do is cove base or baseboard. Uh, trim in here and then trim around the windows and this room's done and this master bedroom is done it's amazing that's I'm so happy absolutely about amazing it. guys it's uh <sighs> every we've said it before and we say it over and over again but unless you've lived like we have and i know some of you have shared your stories with us saying that you've also done what we're doing but living in a construction zone like we've been doing has been a well challenge. it's a challenge it's a but challenge. every bit you finish just feels that much better, I think. Yeah, it does. Every little bit is like, wow, we've moving forward, moving forward. It's amazing. Yeah, you know, we started this thing off. A lot of you guys probably don't know our story from the beginning. Me and Vaughn started this with the fact that we were like, you know what? We're sick and tired of the corporate world. We're done working. We're done feeding the, the machine, what we called being on the hamster wheel. And we sat down actually drink, having a beer yeah. and jotted out on a napkin the plans for this house. Yeah, we just did it on a napkin and what we did was we took everything we've done, every house we've ever lived in, we took the things we liked about it. So houses that we've lived in, houses that we've owned, whatever we liked about it, we just tried to incorporate the best pieces what of we, it. What we like, the livability of the best pieces of it. So that's one yeah. of the reasons you see in this house, a big open living space with the kitchen, but then the master bedrooms on one side of the house, the guest bedrooms on the other side of the house. Yeah. So we didn't want the bedrooms jammed up on one side. That's something we never have liked. Yes. It's amazing to see from a napkin to, to, to this actually house. actually living in it and seeing the reality of your dreams come true. So it's pretty amazing, it's guys. Pretty and we appreciate all of you for following along with us. We've got a long ways to go, yep. but we're making progress. We're making progress. <laughs> all right, guys. We'll see you on the next one. See you on the next one, guys.